Mm. Oh boy. Oh. Gee, Mickey, what's got you so excited this morning? Today's the big day, Minnie. <gasps> you don't mean. Yep. After working as Pete's Lackey all this time, I finally got the promotion I've always wanted. Today's the day I'm officially captain of the Steamboat Willie. Oh, Mickey, I'm so happy for you. Yep. Only took a decade. You know, Mouse, I could get used to this. Who'd have thought actually putting an effort and working for years would pay off? Yes, sir. All those extra customers we've been getting have really benefited the company. The steamboat business has been booming. I don't even know what we do half the time, but apparently people need it. You know, Pete, you've got a big cushy office now, but what do I get out of it? I've been working with you for so long, we're practically partners. You want to be captain? C c captain of the s steamboat? Yeah, why not? I don't want to do it anymore. Oh, Pete, I'd be honored. Well, then it's settled. You start Monday. Do I get the hat? Oh, but Mickey, aren't you worried about all the extra responsibilities that come with being captain? There's more pressure on you, potentially more work, longer hours. Aw, oh, Minnie, everything will be fine. Sure, the shifts might be longer, but we'll still have plenty of time to spend together. Don't forget, with a big promotion like this comes plenty of vacation time. Not to mention the huge pay increase. Oh, I shouldn't doubt you anyways. You're Mickey Mouse. You can handle anything that comes your way. Huh, speaking of, looks like I'm running late. Oh wow, did we really talk for that long? Oh, but Mickey, you didn't even eat breakfast. Oh, I'll grab something quick on the way. See you later. But I already made it. Guess you can enjoy it after work. The weather outside is indeed boring, it's boring. So Ooh, this one looks kind of fun. Maybe I'll keep it for myself. Water, <laughs> yeah, yeah right. Accordingly. In other news, travelers need to be cautioned as an accident blocks a major intersection. Traffic has come to a halt as first responders work to clear. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Nah, of course not. Just trying to run a business. Pete, I'm a representative from the city, and the mayor has a really important job for you. Important, eh? better pay well. Oh, it will. I know this is short notice, but there's a big storm on the horizon, and we need your best captain to survey the surrounding islands before and after to report any damage to the local flora, fauna, and populations. Hmm, best captain, eh? I know the best guy for the job. Great. I'll leave you to it and trust it'll be done promptly. Oh, you can count on me. Freak. Hey! Well, boy, we might not be late after all. Yeah. Of course, if I had a car, this wouldn't even be an issue. Look, it's not that I'm afraid of driving. I, I just can't afford one, okay? Now, with this promotion, though, maybe that can change. No need to rush, though. Oh, no. Well, looks like we're gonna have to find a way around. Ooh. <sighs> oh. Dang, Mickey, you're pretty late. Oh, you know, traffic. Oswald, you're not a captain. Why are you wearing that hat? What, this thing? It hasn't been the captain's hat for years. Part of the standard uniform now. He didn't tell me that. Betty also didn't tell you he got stuck with animal delivery. What? No way. That kind of job is beyond a captain such as myself. I'm afraid it's true. Don't get so down just yet, though. You've also got a special assignment to do after. A special assignment? Yeah, but I'll fill you in on that after your delivery. Don't want your focus going elsewhere. Ah, but Pete, I'm sick of delivering animals. I thought I was doing that after becoming captain. Everyone's gotta do it sometimes. I don't even have a deck hand. I gotta do it alone? Well, if you had arrived earlier, you could have had one. All the extra crew left for the other captains. The only person left at the office is Oswald. Yeah, and I ain't doing it. 
Hmm, come to think of it, Oswald would be the perfect fit for the job. Down the Mississippi steam the whip or wheel, commanded by that pilot, Mr. Steamobile. The owners gave him orders on the strict QT to try and beat the record of the Robert E. Lee. <laughs> Just speed up your fires, let the old smoke grow. Burn up all your cargo if you run out of coal. If we don't beat that record, Billy told the mate, send the mail and care of Peter to the Golden Gate. Old Steamboat Bill, steaming down the Mississippi, Steamboat Bill. A mighty man was he, old Steamboat Bill, steaming down the Mississippi, going to beat the record of the Robert E. Lee. Hey, stop, stop. Pick me up, pick me up. Off then set the gambling man from Louisville, who tried to get the bet against the whip or wheel. Billy flashed the roll that surely was a bear. The boiler, it exploded, blew them up in the air. The gambler said to Billy as they left the wreck, I don't know where we're going, but your neck and neck. Says Bill to the gambler, tell you what I'll do. I'll bet another thousand, I'll go higher than you. You know, Oswald, I gotta say, I'm impressed with how you handle the delivery. You're not as lazy as I thought. Eh, yeah, I try, believe it or not. Aside from the little bit of goofing off at the end, you stuck through it, and we managed to get it done quicker than I ever would have thought. Hey, you ain't so bad yourself, Mouse. You got it good, though. It's gotta be pretty freeing being captain in charge of your own boat. I gotta do backbreaking labor as a maintenance man. Yeah, most of the time it's like I'm standing around doing nothing, but sometimes I gotta crawl up inside things to fix a leak or something. Can you imagine? Yeah, that does sound like it could get pretty bad. Being captain really doesn't seem as special as I thought, though. I'm mostly just doing the same stuff, but now I got all these extra things I gotta worry about. Like what? Well, there's a whole book full of rules and regulations I gotta abide by. I'm still working under Pete, so there's plenty of limitations. I gotta follow all the rules in here and be careful about how I present myself, because I represent the company now. Uh, I gotta be honest, Mickey, that sounds pretty gay. <laughs> Well, that was fun. I think I'm ready to get back to my normal work, though. Oh, what is that exactly? Usually just standing around waiting for something to break or for someone to litter, both of which rarely happen. Well, Mickey, the customer who ordered that delivery was very pleased with how timely and efficiently you and Oswald managed to do it. Well, I've had plenty of experience doing it over the years, and as much as I don't want to admit it, I'm probably the best man for the job. Well, it's fortunate for me, then, that, unfortunately, you've got another delivery to make. What? Was the special assignment just a ruse all along? Nah, apparently Julius didn't actually come into work today because he got in a car crash. Then his crew just left without him and got themselves stuck somewhere, can you believe that? Now I have to take time out of my day to bail them out. That's what I get for not paying attention, I guess. As for your special assignment, you get to go on an adventure. An adventure? Yeah. Gotta go to the surrounding islands. Something about surveying them or something. Surveying? Uh, I've never done that, Pete. What is it? I don't know. I'm sure the papers explain it. All I know is it's really important. Some guy in a suit came in earlier and said it's gotta get done today, so... Get to it, I guess. Oh, jeez, Pete. I don't know if I'm the right guy for the job. Ah, oh, come on, Mouse. You'll do fine. Look at it this way. If you mess up, at least I'll be at fault. <laughs> Yeah, that does make me feel a little better. Please don't mess up. I won't let you down, Pete. Good. Well, I'm off to lunch. Good luck. <laughs> I can't really make sense of this. Oh, I'll be fine. Pete thinks I'll be fine, so I'll be fine. I can handle anything. If anything goes bad, uh, I'll just wing it. And if anything, it can be a learning opportunity. <laughs> I'm glad you've got confidence in me, too. Hey, Oswald, I've got another delivery to make before my special assignment. Want to tag along again? Ah, uh, nah, man, I'm much too busy just standing here. It'll be fine, you've got dinger. I sure do. Uh Huh. 
Couldn't be that late already, right? Did it really take that much longer to pick up the animals without Oswald? Uh, destination for these animals is pretty far away. Maybe I should survey some of these islands first. They're closer. Eh, it shouldn't take too long. Oh, maybe it isn't too late. Just some rain, I guess. Mm-hmm. 